Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. There are a few ways to print invoices you have entered into the sales invoicing window. If you do not intend to print invoices in Sage 50, but only enter them for accounting purposes, then type the actual invoice number assigned to the invoice into the invoice number field in the upper right corner of the form, and then save it. You can then receive payments against the invoice in the Receive Money window later. To print invoices in Sage 50, do not enter an invoice number into the form. Instead, decide if you want to print just one invoice or a batch of invoices. To print or email one invoice, open the invoice in the Sales Invoicing window, and then click either the Print or Email button in the Windows toolbar. In the Print Email Forms Invoices window that opens, enter the invoice number to assign to the displayed invoice into the First Invoice Number text box. If the invoice already has an invoice number, this information is not editable. To change the invoice form used if needed, click the Select Form button in this dialog box to open the Print or Email Forms Invoices and Packing Slips dialog box. Then select the name of the invoice to use from this dialog box and click the OK button to return to the Print or Email Forms Invoices window. To replace the item ID with a SKU or UPC or part number, Make a choice from the Replace Item ID with drop-down. If printing, enter the number of copies to print into the Number of Copies field. Then click either the Print or Send button to print or send the displayed invoice. Alternatively, to batch print or batch email invoices, first create and save the invoices without assigning them invoice numbers. Then click the drop-down arrow to the right of the Print button in this Windows toolbar and select the Select Invoices to Print command from the drop-down menu to open the Preview and Print Invoices and Packing Slips window. In the upper left corner of this window, select which invoices to print or email and select through which date to show the invoices. Then enter the first invoice number to assign to the invoices into the Number the First Invoice field. Then select the type of invoice to use from the choices shown in the Use This Form drop-down. To view the list of invoices, click the Refresh List button in the upper right corner. To filter the list even further, you can use the options in the lower left corner of this window and then click the Refresh List button again. After changing any criteria at the left side of this window, you may need to click the Refresh List button to refresh the listing of invoices to print, which appears at the right side of the window. In the list of invoices to print at the right side of the window, check the checkbox next to the invoices to mark them to be printed uncheck the checkboxes to not print them. You can also click the All or None links above the list to select all or none of the invoices. Before printing or emailing the invoices, you can also click the Print Setup tab to select a printer and set margins if needed. You can click the Email Options tab to set your emailing options. Then click the Print slash Email tab again to view the selected invoices. After selecting the desired batch of invoices to print or email in this list, click the Print slash Email button to batch print or email them. To preview them first, click the Print Preview button to open a Print Preview window. You can also click the Print button in this window to print and email the invoices. However, note that clicking the Close button in the Print Preview window without printing also closes the Preview and Print Invoices and Packing Slips window, which means you will need to start the process over again. If you want to cancel printing and emailing the invoices, click the Cancel button instead. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.